We've asked about this for years to get something done. Peyton Lorene lives right around the corner from where two young girls were hit by a car while crossing Canyon Road. On Mother's Day, my wife and I took our kids and we were going to walk over to the Walmart just to grab some stuff and some of the other stores over there. Um, and we decided to walk, which we've never done. And it was the scariest experience of our lives because you have cars going 45 plus miles an hour in the area. And on top of that, um, there's no crosswalks there. He says for the last two years, community members have urged the city to put in a light or at least a crosswalk. I've always wondered why this road opened up um, without crosswalks because people cross all the time. So it's it's been a very busy, there's accidents all the time. Nick Porter with Spanish Fork City says the signal was warranted or approved in 2022, and they had to work with UDOT through a permitting process. A lot of the signal warrants are post-performance, you get, you get the car count up, and UDOT, I don't think is gonna put a crosswalk in without the signal, and so you have to have that warrant happen first. He says the city got approval in April, to start construction in May. We've since last night put up two speed trailers going east and westbound on Canyon Road uh, and uh, have actually the, the construction uh, crew is actually mobilizing today as well uh, to get some of their signage up and uh, encourage pedestrians to use uh, a safer crossing. But residents like Lorene feel like it's too late and they don't understand why the city couldn't have pushed the safety measures forward two years ago something bad happens and then we decide to put in this change. Um, where's the concern trying to be proactive about this, trying to avoid, because we can't stop all accidents, we get that. But where is the effort in trying to make us safer? Where in Spanish work, it feels like, let's grow, let's grow, let's grow. None of the infrastructure supports that. Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.